Hey, what's up, guys? This is Bo, again, with Designs by Bo. Back with the second video. Again, guys, I'm new to this whole YouTube thing, so please subscribe to the channel and show me some love and support. That's all I need to keep going with these videos, guys, is to know that you guys want these types of videos and appreciate it. Thanks for uh, allowing me to join the YouTube family, guys. Please subscribe, show your support. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily turn a color image into a black and white image using Inkscape and get high definition, get a high definition photo out of it. So guys, let's get started. Guys, very often what I like to do is I like to design when I'm using Inkscape, I hardly ever use the space that's outlined by the uh, paper size, the page that's on the um, that's on the screen when you first uh, start a new document. I like to design outside of that for some reason, but that's that's how I do it, guys. You'll find your own way of doing it. Okay guys, to get started, what you'll need is a color image. And here I'm using the image of a fox to um, to do this video. You can pick any image you want, any color image you want to turn black and white. And once you have your image, first thing you do is go up to filters And then from there, you're going to go to color. And on the drop down list, you're going to pick colorize. Now, to get the image um, to be as good as you want, what I like to start off with is the harsh light at a 1.6. And the normal light, usually I bump that up to about 0 0.2. Now to see exactly what your results will be, if you look down at the bottom left, you'll see a window, that, I mean a button uh, that says uh, live preview. And you can click that and it'll give you a live preview of what your image will transform into. So I'm going to cl click live preview. Sorry, you have to have this. You have to click on, actually click on the image and then live preview. And with that, you can see a live preview of what the image looks like. And what you can do if you're trying to get um, bright whites and dark blacks, you can play with the uh, lighting. Um, the normal light is what I usually play with. And the further down you go, the darker that gets. But for me, that maybe that um, 0 0.2 is the lowest, is the highest I want to go. And on the harsh light, Around 1.6 is what I usually use, but you guys can play with it and find what suits you uh, depending on the photo you're using. And I'm just going to play with this a little bit to see if I can get more details out without having it too dark or too light. The more you go up, the lighter the light is on the harsh light and also the uh, normal light. And for me, that's a little too dark see 1.5 is so yeah 1.6 is good for the harsh light and normal light 0 0.2 is what I would use and if you look at the dual tone this is what you want to click dual tone if not you'll get um, different tones in the multicolor range but to get black and white you want to click this dual tone box And then to get it to stick, you just hit apply. And then you can close 
this box out. And there you guys, there you have it, guys. You have your image of the fox. And there it is next to the color image, to the original color image, guys. And you can see, as you can see, it's a very high detail image. And it'll work great for any print that you're trying to do. You can save this as an image. And if you guys are trying to make things like T-shirts or um, wall art or SVG files when you want to do them you can if you need your photos printed in a darker dark or a lighter light white then this is the best way to do that guys but again this is Bo with designs by Bo and uh, again guys I am very new to this this YouTube thing and it's kind of kind of hard to, to grasp but I'm getting it so um uh, Guys, give me some motivation and uh, some love and support. Just click the subscribe button so that you get notified of future videos. I'll be releasing videos daily. Um, leave any questions you have for me in the comment section. And, I mean, if you guys want me to do an Inkscape video explaining certain things, let me know, guys. Again, this is Bo, Designs by Bo. See you guys on the next one.